What's going on guys, my name is Theo Atrix, and with the release of Old School Mobile, I thought a very helpful video, particularly for those using mobile, would be the most AFK combat training methods in the game. Throughout this video, I'll show 5 melee, ranged, magic, and then 5 free to play AFK methods, and hopefully you can choose a few of these to put into practice while you're at work or at college or something. Starting off with the AFK melee methods, and the first method I have is a pure friendly method, sand, rock, or ammonite crabs. Every type of crab and every aggressive monster in old school will stay aggressive to you for 10 to 20 minutes of being in that area. And then after that, in the case of crabs, the rocks will stop popping up and attacking you. To reset this, you need to run far enough so that your training location is fully off your map. You can then run back to the training spot and continue to AFK for another 10 minutes. Rock crabs are usually very crowded with a cannon, but sand crabs and ammonite crabs almost always will have a free spot somewhere with at least two crab spawns nearby. These are great for low level melee combat and excellent for pures since they barely hit anything. The Catacombs of Kurand provides you with a huge range of AFK slayer areas where you can attack a lot of monsters at a time with melee and then sit back with prayer on until they're all dead. Using really high prayer bonus gear like Prozolite, it's possible to AFK with only protect melee on for over 10 minutes at a time. But for monsters that you have to attack each one, you can AFK for about 4-5 to five minutes. An interesting little fact is that the Dark Beasts are one of the only monsters in RuneScape that will stay aggressive forever, meaning you can AFK these for 20 minutes without clicking, but you do need to keep track of your prayer and health. They need 90 Slayer to kill, but they drop Dark Bows and even Elite and Hard Clues. The next very AFK combat method is Monkey Guards at Ape Atoll. If you've completed Monkey Madness 2, this method won't work for you since the guards are unaggressive. But if you've only done Monkey Madness 1, then you can AFK here for around 10 minutes. Just next to the staircase, there's an altar to restore your prayer point, meaning you can AFK very easily with protect from melee, or you can take advantage of piety and a little bit less AFK training. There is a poisonous spider nearby, which does mean you'll need antidote plus plus potions, and you should take a sip of that every 10 minutes or so. Once the guards become unaggressive, you can just put on a Grigri run to the center of Apatol and then run back and they'll be aggressive again. Now, one of the most AFK melee combat methods in the game is bandits in the Caridian Desert. When wearing a Saradomen or Zamorak item, the bandits will always come up to you and attack you, meaning you can AFK for up to 20 minutes without having to click. After 20 minutes, you'll simply just stop attacking and eventually log out. The most AFK way to kill them is using full Guthans, a Ring of Life, and a a holy or unholy blessing as a Saradoman or Zamorak item. With this, particularly on mobile, you can just tap to log into your account and you'll instantly be able to AFK for a full 20 minutes just by leaving your phone there. You can also AFK a bandit in tank gear with a better weapon for better XP, but you will need food and probably can't AFK as long depending on your defense level. The final AFK melee method is the Nightmare Zone, and there's three ways you can go about AFKing here. Firstly is using Guthans on a customized hard rumble, and you should select the following bosses. The bosses I'm showing right now give more XP per damage point, simply because some of the quest bosses happen to give more XP per hit. Another way to go about AFKing at the Nightmare Zone is using Absorptions, Overloads, and the Locator Orb or the Dwarven Rock Cake. Staying around one hit point with full Darox, you can get really, really high XP rates with AFK times of around five minutes. To AFK even longer, you can use Absorption Potions, Super Combat Potions, and a Locator Orb or a Rock Cake, and you can AFK for 10 to 15 minutes before you have to re-drink Absorptions and Rock Cake back down to one hit point. The Nightmare Zone probably gives the highest AFK XP rates. However, each time you enter, you have to pay over 20k for a customized rumble, so make sure you don't AFK too long. Moving into the 5 AFK range training methods, and I thought I'd start off with a bit of a money maker. You can start killing Brutal Black Dragons once you have at least level 78 Slayer, and by standing on a tile where they're out of melee distance, you can use a super extended anti-fire and AFK with prayer for around about 5 minutes. On average, each kill will net you about 30 30k in profit, and with a low range level, you can get 400 to 500k coins per hour, but using a twisted bow, you can reach over 1 mil an hour. 
The next AFK spot is swamp crabs, as well as the other types of crabs. Swamp crabs are particularly good for range since they have a negative 55 range defense bonus. So at a really, really low range level, you'll still be hitting pretty often despite using very weak range weapons. Swamp crabs are located south of Port Phasmatis and they're currently pretty unpopulated. Sand crabs, rock crabs, and ammonite crabs also work with ammonite crabs probably being the best for XP. The same thing can be done for ranged with blessed dehyde and other prayer gear within the catacombs of Kurend. You can do some slayer tasks decently AFK here, but a lot of the time you'll be cannoning your slayer task. And a great example of a task that you can cannon while making money is ice trolls. Ice trolls drop granite shields, high tier rune gear, but you can also do them off task if you want to cheaply and quickly train your range level. The next is bandits once again, but this time since you're ranging, you should ideally have a bit of a higher defense level and some good defensive gear. A great range tank setup is using the Verax Helm and Brassard, which is the top, and they each only give a negative two range attack bonus and give very high defensive bonuses. You can take advantage of knives here for very cheap XP, and you can unnote your food at the tent nearby, which means you can basically stay forever. The final range method is the Nightmare Zone using absorptions. Once again, you can only use absorptions for a longer AFK time, but using overloads and absorptions, you will get much better XP since you can boost more than a ranged potion. If you want even better XP rates, you can take a few prayer potions with you while using Eagle Eye. And another interesting tip for the Nightmare Zone is that you can turn on and off the Rapid Heal prayer, and that will reset your hit points regeneration timer. So that allows you to stay on one hit point if you can be bothered double clicking every minute. Moving into the magic methods. First is splashing, and I don't really recommend splashing due to how unbearably slow it is, but for pures and really, really low level accounts, it is sort of worth it. On a brand new account, you can wear full iron and a regular staff to get a negative 65 magic bonus, which leads you to splash all the time. Once you reach level 40 ranged, you can wear the green dehyde van braces and use elemental staffs like the fire staff or the smoke battle staff to get unlimited elemental runes while having the negative 65 attack bonus. If you have a decent defense level, I really don't recommend splashing. Instead, you should AFK at one of the AFK crabs or at a safe spot, such as blue dragons or lava dragons, while wearing decent magic gear. Doing something like this for 10 minutes will get you, if not more XP, than if you sat somewhere splashing for an hour. You can AFK for a pretty long time, and then you'll need to go out of the map area and back in and you're good to go. Another method worth mentioning is magic imbue or humidify with a fishbowl while you do any other AFK training method. By having one of these passive magic trainers with you, you can AFK something like bandits with guffins and whenever you need to click or move the camera to stay logged in, you can just cast a magic imbue or humidify for passive magic experience. The next AFK magic method is string jewelry, and this is personally my favorite. Each time you click to cast a spell, it will over time string your whole inventory with jewelry. The cheapest one at the moment is stringing a regular gold amulet and you can get XP rates of up to 150k magic per hour. Each AFK interval is approximately 50 seconds to one minute and casting the spell needs 80 magic and the Lunar Diplomacy quest. The final AFK magic method, which is somewhat an oversight by Jagex in my opinion, is AFKing at Kraken. Once you have level 87 Slayer and actually receive a Kraken task, you can start doing this method. Basically, you can splash on Kraken while getting the XP that you would have got if you actually hit him. So this lets you AFK for 20 minutes while getting way better XP rates than you would splashing, making it a far more cost-effective method. You can use high-level spells here for really good XP rates, or you can even use strike or bolt spells for great cheap XP. Next up, the free-to-play methods. At a very, very low level, you can splash at the Lumbridge Rats or the Chickens with the same method method I explained in the magic section just before. You can also safe spot the lesser demon in the wizard's tower or the lesser demons on Karumja for a decent ranged and magic AFK XP rate. Flesh crawlers are a bit of a different kind of monster in free to play and they actually re-aggro over a period 
bit of time. So you could go AFK at Flesh Crawlers for around 10 minutes, and then they'll stop attacking you, making you manually attack them. But even if you stay in that area, they'll eventually just become aggro again. Alternatively, if you want to AFK more, instead of having to wait until they re-aggro, you can just run off the map and come back for 10 minutes more of AFK time. The next is a melee method, and at higher defense levels, you can wear full rune and AFK at the spiders on level 3 of the Stronghold of Security. You can AFK for 10 minutes here, and then run over to the other spider area for another 10 minutes of AFK time. You will need food for this method, and the best way to bank is teleport out to Varrock, run to the bank, and then back to the Stronghold. The final AFK ranged and magic method is Ogress Warriors from a safe spot. These Ogresses are on Corsair Cove, and they drop various rune and high value runes, which over time will make you a fairly decent amount of money and will cover the cost of arrows and runes. Don't run too far into this dungeon though, because there are Ogress Shamans that can attack you from a distance. So that is all 20 AFK methods that I wanted to show in this video. They're all currently on the screen. Feel free to pause and take a screenshot or just pick a few from here and put them into practice. If you learned something interesting in today's video, be sure to leave a like. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date for more old school videos. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.